Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and in this video, I'm going to be painting this pretty bird um, with a yellow background, and I'm going to show step by step how to do it with acrylic paint. Um, the supplies I'm using are in the description. There's also links in the description. We can buy some of those supplies, and a percentage of your purchase supports my channel. Um, there's also the link to the brush guys where you can get the brushes, and you can get 5% off if you use the code EMILYART. And I also have the link to my Etsy shop where I have some paintings for sale. So I will just start by taking some chalk. I already took a sponge and used this brilliant yellow color and just wiped it on real quick. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to draw the bird, but I will draw the stump that he's sitting on. So I'm just going to kind of mark it into thirds and this is going to be the first third and it's going to come a little bit further for the second third and I'm going to come up about hmm, okay mark it in half and half again so this is the f a fourth mark then I'm going to do it a little more towards the top of the middle There we go. So I'm just going to draw that so I won't have to put the background back there. I'll just put my stump there. Just make sure got it where I want. Might make it a little bit down further than that. All right, there we go. So I'm going to take my number six filbert. It's a Princeton Summit. It's about a half inch brush and it's a rounded tip. Um, I'm going to dip it in the water and then wipe most of the water off of my rag. And I'm just going to not be super careful about the blending, but I'm going to kind of go back and forth and blend some of these other colors in. So it's mainly yellow in the back. That's why I painted it yellow. And if you don't have all three of these yellows, that's okay. This is Brilliant Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Medium, and Yellow Ochre. So if you like didn't have this bright yellow, you could paint it with this and maybe a little white, and it would be close to that. But I'm just going to start with some of this yellow, Cadmium Yellow, and just put some of it in where it could be a little bit of a brighter yellow. And I'm just kind of I'm just kind of doing my brush back and forth like this. I'm just doing it really quickly. And it's just adding like one extra layer of yellow. So like I said, if you used this color that I'm using right now, just with some white for the background, then you wouldn't have to have this other color. But I'm just going to put some of that back here. And now I'm going to get some of my yellow ochre. And I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to put some of that in here. And just kind of try blending it out. So the darker colors are probably going to look worse up against this light background. If you had a dark background at first, it would be the light colors that would not look as good over the dark but I'm just trying to kind of show where like I'm like marking it out where I want these darker colors to go
All right, there we go. And now there's a little bit of green. I'm going to get some white and some phthalo green. Maybe some of this yellow ochre. So it's kind of like an olive, very light olive color. And I'm just going to put some of that in here. With maybe my yellow, put my yellow around it. And I can even wipe that color off and then get the color I originally had for the background and just kind of blend it out that way. So it looks pretty bad at the moment at this layer. It normally does. You just have to just start this way and then it'll get better. All right, and now I'll get a darker yellow, or a darker green, I mean. I'm going to get phthalo green and some burnt umber. It's going to make it a really dark green. I'm going to put some of that in here. Might even get more brown with it so it's not so green. And then get my yellow ochre. I'm going to wipe most of that dark green off when I get my yellow ochre and use that yellow to kind of blend it out a little and then get my maybe brighter yellow to do the very edge. All right, there's going to be some dark right in here. All right. And do some up here. Some in this corner. I can take some of my yellow ochre and a little bit of burnt umber, make like a golden brown. And put that in. And we're going to use pretty much these same colors on the next layer. We're just going to make it look better <laughs> by doing better blending and things. All right, so while that is drying, I'm going to put in the first layer of my post here. So I'll get some my brown and a little bit of Mars black. Just so it's not, it's got a little bit of like a black in it. And I don't have to worry about the very edge. It can be a little rough. So just cover this whole thing with brown. My cat is banging back there, so some 
Sorry, I'm gonna have to go get her in a minute. Alright, so I'll just let that dry. And then I will rinse my brush out. And I'll let that dry. And then we can get it looking better on the next layer. Just put this brush off to the side. And I'll pause the video and come back. All right, so it's not fully dry. The stump is still wet in a few areas um, in the background. But I'm going to avoid the wet areas and work on what's dry already. So I'm just going to kind of sort of do the same thing, except this time I'm going to work in one spot instead of with one color. So I'm going to take the background color first and just put this down, make it wet in that area, and then I'll take my darker yellow and just kind of blend the darker in there. Take a little bit of my yellow ochre, put that in, some green. I might even take some of my phthalo green and my brown and just get a little bit of white with it so maybe it'll cover better. Just put that down and then I'm going to take a mop brush. This is a half inch mop brush and I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. I'm just going to kind of tap sometimes and kind of swirl it other times. I just want to get it blended real good. Right now, I'm going to rinse that green out. If you have a darker color in your brush, you do not want to take that darker color and add it to your like yellows because it would be pretty hard to change it back to the light color. So, I'm going to take my yellow again and then just kind of move down my brighter and then I'll get my yellow ochre in here and I can get some brown and then I can take this to blend it out Blend it. All right. I can take some white with one of my yellows, put it in the middle, and take this brown and come down. You always want the two, uh, it's best if you use these two colors that you're blending with if they're still wet. It would be the easiest at that point to make them blend. I can get some green, put some green in here. And some brown. And I'll rinse that brown out. And 
and I'll do some of my light yellow, the yellow I started with, and just put that in. Just blend those colors. Back here is going to be where we're going to have our bird on top, so we're not going to see as much right here, but I still want to get it blended just in case we do see back here. some I'm getting like too much paint on my mop brush so I'll just wipe it off on the side and come back here all right rinse that out And I think the stump is getting dry now too, so we can go over that a little easier. I'm just gonna go back over here. And get some white, this green, so I can Blend some green in. And then take my mop brush. I'm basically repeating the same process, so. Just with different colors. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I post a new video every Friday on my channel, Emily Powers Art. So if you want to learn to paint or just enjoy watching the painting come together, then you might like to see some of those. I'm wiping some of that paint off my mop brush again. All right, and if it's not perfect, that's okay. If you want it like super blended, you might go over it a second time. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of white over there because I don't think it needs to be that dark of a brown. Try to get that color off my mop brush again. All right, wipe that color off so I can go back to my yellows. And you wanna go pretty fast because if you go slow, I mean, you wanna go slow enough that you like what it looks like, but you can always go and do a second layer. It's better to work fast and be able to get your blend good if you can work fast. I'm gonna get some yellow ochre. The first, when I do my yellows, sometimes I don't really need to use the mop brush because they s kind of blend pretty well together. But other times they may have to use it. Alright, some lighter green in here.
All right, and I can get some of my gold brown color and put some of that in. And I guess if you wanted to, you don't even have to do yellow. Like you could do, you know, make the background your own and do colors you want to do. This is probably more natural, like color with the yellow and the green, um, since it's maybe supposed to be yellow and green leaves or something maybe in the back. But if you wanted to change it and just make it a fun, colorful background with blue or whatever color you want to use, you can do that too. And you can see already it looks better up here than down here. So that's good. We're getting it closer. I'm going to get some of my brown with some white. And add that in. over halfway done with the background get some green with my brown and put some dark green in a few spots get some of my yellow and just put it back there so that it'll still have a little bit of yellow in that section. Okay, rinse my brush. And get some of my yellow so that it'll be wet here where I'm blending. I'm going to get a little bit of white and green to put right in between here. It's not really wanting to blend very good.
Take this yellow and just put the rest yellow right there. All right, and put some yellow down here, and we'll blend some yellow in here with some of this green. There's just one section over here. Then I'll do. Just do dark brown and green here. All right. Now that I'm looking at it, I think that I should do one more coat on the background just because it kind of looks a little choppy in some spots. But I'm going to do some more brown on here. Oops. Some black, putting it into All right, rinse my brush out. I might try, it's still a little wet, so I'll just have to dry that. I'll just let it sit again. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush again and I'm just going to do this whole thing again. But I'm going to use a different mop brush. This is a 3 fourths inch mop brush, so it's quite a bit bigger than my other one. But this one, I, it's all wet, so I think it'll work better with a dry one. So I'm just going to start again with my yellow.
the green and brown. Lots of brown. And just put that in there. Try not to make it too, too dark. All right. And I will use this mop brush. And just kind of try to blend it out. This one is working pretty good. It's very, it's going on it very lightly. And I will get my yellows and I'm just going to try to put all the colors down first all right and now let's see if I can just just go over this to work pretty fast. Got a hair in my paint, so I was just trying to get that out. All right, so yeah, this is working a lot better. Doing this other coat, this side is a whole lot better than this side. I got a bunch of paint over here. I didn't realize. It's okay. I'll cover over that later. And then get some yellow and some brown. And some of my green.
open this out a little bit better over here. And just get my yellows again. Wrong one. here This is a lot better. Sorry, that's my dog barking. All right. This is definitely blending a lot better than last time. Um, my mop brush is getting dirtier, so it's good that we only have small section left so do the yellows that green out and just let it have a little bit more yellow over here. There we go. Oops. There we go. So I am going to let that dry. That's going to be the last coat of the background. So I'm going to rinse all my brushes that I've used so far. this filbert though for the um, stump I'm trying to think of the word and this time I'm going to be careful about the edges Because this is going to be 
the last coat of dark probably that I'm going to do. So I want it to be good and dark covered. I'm going to cover this yellow real good. So if you see where we are now with this background with what it started looking like, you'll see how doing more layers really helped. At the beginning you may have thought that it would never look good, but now it's all blended and oops, almost I just don't know why that happens sometimes to me. I just drop the brush just like my and just opens up and the brush starts falling. I don't know why that happens, but it's kind of funny. Alright. There we go. So there's our last um, background layer. I'm rinsing this brush out now. And now we want this to dry good. Like we don't want where we're going to be working with the bird to be wet. Um, if it is, then it will lift and make it more difficult for us. So this is going to have to dry well enough that we can um, touch it and it feels dry, it's not going to feel sticky or anything, so I'm just going to let that dry. Alright, so this is all dry now, and I'm going to take some white chalk just to draw out my bird. So I'm going to start it just a little up from the wood. And he's going to come up like this. And his tail is going to come down that way. And then out here is going to be like where we're going to have the wing. This is going to be the fun part, is the bird. And his beak is kind of big. He's got a big beak. So like this. And his eye is going to be right in here. And the like that. And then he's got two feet. And you can see grabbing onto the wood. Alright, <clears throat> I think that's pretty good for the drawing. And the colors, the main colors I'm going to use for the bird are going to be probably a black, white, and some of the orange. Um, it's probably going to be the main colors. So I'm going to get a quarter inch angular shader. It's uh, Princeton Select. And just dip it in the water. And I'm just going to do the first coat. So I'm going to get uh, first I'm going to start with the gray, so I'm going to get lots of white and a little bit of black and make this gray and I'm just going to put that on here.
And I'll put also some gray down under the wing. Right here. Okay. And now I'll also do the orange. If I get some cadmium orange and white put that in so And then I can get <clears throat> my orange and maybe a little bit of brown for the bottom where it's darker. And I can still have some white with it so that it covers a little bit better. And just blend that in. Okay, and now we'll do the black. So it doesn't have to be like perfect, just if you kind of just block in the color where you kind of think it should go, then you can kind of make adjustments after. So I'm going to get some of my black and a little too watery, so I'm gonna make sure it's not so watered down. And I'm gonna do it's gonna kind of come up like that, and then. There's going to be some black, like in here. Just fill that in. And this is going to come down. If you get some out like that, you can just take a wet rag and before it dries, you can pick it back up. All right, and then for the head, I'll do. I can just probably fill in the whole head.
And I can do the beak a little bit. Okay, before that dries real good, I'm going to rinse my brush out and kind of push that beak back some. And then I can go back with my black. And then I can take some of my orange again, put that back up. I'll just rinse that out and that'll be the first layer. I'm going to work on the wood. I'm going to take my white and some burnt umber. and some black. Okay, there we go. And I'll just get, I don't want a whole lot of paint on my brush, and I'm just going to go down the edge of my wood and make some lighter color in there. And you can make certain areas get some thicker paint and other areas not so much and that can help so it's not just like all kind of even. You want it to be a little bit 
more in some areas than others. And it is darker under the bird, but I can just get some more burnt umber and black. And just make it a little darker and still put some wood texture in there. Put a little bit of this wood color in a few areas in here. I can take this white and make it even lighter and do some of that. Not so much. Do some of that on here. Just do some lighter spots on this wood. Do it like that. I could take some like really dark like black too and put in some dark color in a few spots. That's pretty good. Just rinse that off. And the bird is still, I think, a little wet. So I'm gonna just rinse this out. And there's like a little plant over here. I'm gonna get some green and my cadmium yellow medium. And a little bit of burnt umber so that it's not such a bright green. And maybe some white. Alright, and then I'll just do Do some green over here, and I might can. No, I might just want to do some over there. If I do too much, more might look funny. I don't know. Let's do a little bit there, 
and I can do more gray. I need more white first though. Make sure you don't have any of that green in your brush. And can grab some of this that we used on the tree. Get some black. I'll take some more white, make it lighter, and I'll just make some lighter feathers in here. Right, and then do this gray here. And this is kind of sort of where the foot is, so I'm going to kind of come down and start the foot. A little fuzzy on the foot. Get a little darker for right up at the bottom. And then the lighter color too. white for right here. And now I'll do the orange. I'm doing a little bit more detail on it this time. Orange and some brown. Make 
make it a little darker. And just add a little bit of white to it. Not because we want it lighter, but just so that it'll cover everything better. get my orange with some white and I'll put some over here okay and then white just put some like white feathers in the bird here Okay, that's better. Alright, I may even take a little bit of black and put it right on the edge. It's, it seems like it's drying, so I have to stop for the moment, or else it'll start lifting the color off. Alright, so I'll go back and I'll do my black, my really dark black for all in here, all these feathers. Alright, 
and I'll just get a little bit of white and add that. You could add a little bit of like ultramarine blue or something like that and it would probably really make it look pretty. I'm just going to add a little bit of white in here and get a little bit more slowly making it lighter dark too and put some of that in like that and I'll get my black for the head here Now I'm going to use my smallest brush so that I can put in these details. So this is a number one round. It's Princeton Velvet Touch and I'm just going to get some of this gray and work on the beak. So it's still pretty dark at the moment. Okay, more white. And a lot more white. So the top is kind of like a triangle and then it kind of like curves down at the bottom here. Alright, and I'll put a little bit of this gray on the top of his head. He'll have a little bit of a little lighter color. And then I'm going to water this down a little bit for his eye. I'm going to do a circle with the gray. And if it's too thick or something, I can go back with my black. And put that back in. All 
All right, and then I'll get some of my gray and just at the top, put a little bit of a highlight and I can take my black if I need to and put some back. Take the white There we go. It's getting close. I like that. Do the eye and then probably just do a little bit more for oops. It's really watery. A little bit more on the gray and the go back to my angle brush just want to do I think one more coat of the orange get kind of dark to dry because it's lifting you can see it's kind of like lighter right there because it was lifting off but I still have to do the feet so I'll just take some of this color here the orangey color that we use right here in the front I'll do his feet. And there's like a little toenail that comes down. You can see over here. got the line too big so I'll just try to wipe some of it off
lagi Oke, okay. there we go. So it's it's better. Just give it another coat. some white and just do a little brighter on the beak here at the top Okay, um, while that dries, I can take my green again. And do this This leaf over here. I'm going to take some of my green and my yellow ochre, make it a little darker. get my really bright green and try to do some on that some really bright yellow and get some of my white there we go and rinse that out if you if your bird has if you, uh, the outside of the bird you haven't touched in a while so it is dry, then you can take a damp rag and just wipe off the edge. I'm not going to wipe off all of the edge yet. Alright, 
I might be able to go over my orange now. Just gonna get my really bright white. Put it on the front. Put some feathers. I'm going to get some of my orange with this brown. There we go. Oh, it's still wanting to lift right there. some lighter color there and I'm gonna to have to let it dry when it's dry I'll come back because there's no way I can keep messing with that and let it uh, and it actually work for me so I'm just gonna to to let it dry I'll just get a little bit more of a lighter color And let's put a little bit brighter on the wing. And I'll just pause the video because I don't really have a whole lot left to do. I'll pause it so that that foot can dry. All right, so this is dry now. So hopefully we can get this to have the last coat that it's going to need. going to take some brown and mix that in So now I can just take some of my white and just put some feathers over my black. Just a few white
few white highlights and some feathers. There we go. And it looks like I got a little bit of my orange outside of the line here. Here we go. Alright, so there's our bird here, and I'll just get a little bit more of the light brown, just making sure that the legs are uh, making sure they're dark enough and not see through. All right. And just put a little bit on this side. All right. Here we go. Might just have to get a little bit of black. Just do like do the end of the toe with that so it's like black for the toenail. There's the finished painting, and I'm going to take my pen and sign it down here. I think I'll do, do it along the leaf. There we go. So there's the bird painting there, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, all the links and our, uh, all the supplies are in the description with some links where you can buy them, and percentage of your purchase helps support my channel. Um, also there's the link to the brush guys you can get five percent off the brushes if you use the code emily art and also the link to my etsy store uh, and i can put up on the screen real quick the schedule that we have for this month so we only have one painting left in uh in the month i was just looking at something in my bird it was like paint that was funny but um, anyway we only have one painting left in this month and then we'll have a new schedule so we're going to be doing the aurora so it's a pretty sky for next week's painting and so if you hit emily powers art right below the video then you can see those painting tutorials so i hope you enjoyed this video Please give it a like and subscribe if you did, and thanks for watching.